Hey, how can I help you? Hey, I brought a menu from 1876 from a dinner to honor William Sharon of the Comstock Load. Can you read that? I can't read cursive. Um, some sort of Chablis. Chablis. Consume Royale. It's obviously a French menu. So what would happen when you wanted to change the menu? <laughs> <laughs> It's a silver menu to honor a famous senator from Nevada. I'm selling the menu for $10,000, but the least I would take is around $6,000. If I'm able to sell the menu today, I'll probably take that money and use it to buy more cool stuff. It's really interesting. Where did you get it? I bought it at an auction. Uh, came from an estate. OK. To the honorable William Sharon by his old friends of the Comstock Load Palace Hotel. William Sharon was a senator from Nevada. The Comstock load? It's one of the greatest stories in American history. There was a guy named Comstock, and he came across a few guys mining. Comstock rides up on his horse, and he's going, well, you're on my property. But Comstock was really, really reasonable. What he told him was, is, listen, guys, let's start drop a contract. You guys can keep half of it. I get the other half since it's my property. They all signed it. He went on his way, rode his horse into Carson City, went to the local claim office, and claimed the land. <laughs> cool. <laughs> the Comstock load was the original silver find in Nevada. It created a silver rush. That's what made Nevada a state and actually helped finance the Civil War. So how much are you looking to get out of it? Ten grand. Okay, ten thousand dollars. How did you come up with that number? I looked around and found some auction records, and some are high and some are low, but it seems like the auctions that play to a Western collector audience get more than that. Let me get a friend of mine down here. He knows everything there is to know about Nevada history. And let me see if there's something astronomical about it that I'm not seeing, OK? Yeah, fair enough. I'll be right back. Hey, Rick, if you're calling MHP, tell him to bring down some French fries, maybe some French dressing. I'm looking forward to hearing what the expert has to say about the menu. I've done some looking myself, and I'm curious to find out whether my research is correct. Did you bring the French fries? My fault I didn't ask him to bring French fries with French dressing. You do French dressing on French fries? She's in the mood for some French. <laughs> so what do we have? Uh, this is the tray I was telling you about. Oh, yes, OK. Honorable William Sharon by his old friends with the Comstock load. William Sharon ended up in charge of the Bank of California, and he ended up being able to control the Comstock and made huge amounts of money and ended up buying a Senate seat in 1876. He was a senator from Nevada, living in San Francisco, and not bothering to show up in Washington very often. He was considered probably the worst US senator ever. OK. Sharon was one of the major investors in the Palace Hotel where the dinner was held. And this is the sort of piece that you might get from a very high-end dinner of the era. What we have here was a plate that would be a commemorative. Everybody who went to the dinner got one of these. OK. Um, yeah, but there was only you know, 20, 25 people at the dinner. The one thing about this one is that it's been modified. Originally, this was a flat piece. Probably a jeweler has bent it here, added the feet to it, so it could be maybe a a card tray, something like that. OK. Is there anything astronomical about this? It's cool. I mean, it's a piece that ties back to a really important character in Nevada and California history. It's not unique, but there are not many of them left. I've only seen one other one, and not many of them would have been made to begin with. OK. OK. You're Glad the best, man. Not a problem. Pizza afterwards? I guess. You didn't bring me french fries. We better get sure. something. <laughs> You know, if the shop buys it, it is an interesting piece, and it looks to be absolutely original and absolutely correct. The reason I called Mark down was because you wanted $10,000 for this, and I just want to find out if there was something I was missing. For $10,000, you can get gold coins made in the Carson City Mint. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a lot rarer, cooler things you can get. I mean, you have a, it's a pretty interesting piece of, of Nevada history, but it's not $10,000. I mean, you have right around $100 worth of silver here. I mean, I'd give you like 200 bucks for it. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe put it in auction. I think I'll stand a better chance like that. OK. Well, have a good one, man. Yep, thanks. Thanks for bringing it in. Let's go get that pizza. I'm not eating with you.
It's a shame I couldn't sell the silver menu today, but every cloud has a silver lining, and I'm going to go elsewhere with it.